Today I'm going to open a beater box for you. Now, um, I was looking online on YouTube at bead haul videos just because I was bored one night and I saw one in particular that interests me and it was done by one of our um, fellow beaters in the community here on YouTube. Um, so I was watching and it was a box that you order. It's a non-recurring subscription box. So it doesn't come every month. You order it once, you'll order it one month and get it one month. If you want to order again the next month, that's fine too. But it's not like you pay a certain fee and then something comes every month. It's not that way. Um, this is the website that it's from, the beater box here, right here. And this is the subscription box. So we're going to look at um, the beater box, subscription box thing here. So you can get, I'm hoping, I'm trying to push my lamps away so I'm not reflecting them so badly in my iPad here. But you can get a beater box, it's called the Biggin, which is $50. And you can get a beater box, which is a smidgen, which is $25. Or you can get the beater box, which is the whole shebang, which is $100. And that's what I ordered, was the $100 box. And I was in contact with the owner of this website, and her name is Brandy. And I told her that I would like to open one of the boxes on camera. Um, so she went ahead and packed me up a box, though I was past the date to order for this month. So it was a January box. And re I've received it the 2nd of February, which I knew was going to happen because we had talked and she threw this box together for me, even though I was past the date to order it, which I really appreciate. That was very kind. So this is what we're doing. And I will post a link for the website underneath the video so that you can check it out if you like what's in the box. So let's go ahead and look at this box. I'm going to turn it over upside down because my address is on the front and, you know, shouldn't probably put that all over the world. Not that anyone's going to come. I know they're not, but you never know. So anyway, I'm going to open this box. It's kind of a small box for $100 worth of beads, but she may have crammed a whole bunch of stuff in there. And this box, it's personalized. They, She um, will order what you ask for. So I'm not a big seed beater and she caters mostly to just seed beaters, which is nice because a lot of us have difficulty finding nice seed beads and she has a direct line to Miyuki, which is nice for you guys out there. Um, but I asked for crystal and a few other things, check glass, four millimeter rounds, things that I normally use, which you guys all know because um, you watch my channel. so. You know that. And I'm having difficulty opening this. It's really sealed well. Let me see if I can... I probably should have opened it. Ah, first, and there goes my lamp. So, let's do this. Let me open this box, and then I'll be right okay, back. Okay, so I'm back. I actually got it open. It was sealed very nicely, very well packed. And she sent me a little letter, and um, it has listed exactly what she put in my box. Now, for my box, like I said, in particular, I asked for more than just seed beads. I asked for some more expensive type of beads. I wanted the tile beads or super duos or um, uh, glass beads, um, whatever she could find for me that was like what I normally use on my channel. And that's what she did for me. And she included a um, little card. So... I did ask for more expensive beads, and it looks like this thing is just packed. It feels really full, so let's see what we got here. Let's move the box out of the way and see what she sent. Nice, pretty little tissue paper, all sparkly. Okay, so... I got some Miyuki 15O seed beads in a bunch of different colors here. Um, 15O's, and they're really pretty colors, if you can see that. Reds, and they're kind of a pearlized, which is really nice. 
And then I got three big tubes of Super Duos in three different colors. And these are nice. These are the, um, the Lester type of Super Duos, which I like. And three different colors of those. That's really nice. And then some check two hole tile beads here. And green and purple two hole. This one has a little bit of gold on it. Those are pretty. They'll go nicely with the seed beads. And then let's see. We got some. Well, this one isn't labeled, but it looks like they are all um, Miyuki seed beads in their 11 O's. And they're all nice pastel pretty colors. Some of them are pearlized. Really nice pinks and roses and purples and little aquamarine color and um, this is kind of a just a pink um, frosted color. And those are very nice. And then I got some Preciosa 4mm Bicone Crystals, which I asked for. I asked for some crystal, and I like Preciosa. It's, they're very nice, and they're green, and many shades of green, and um, kind of a crystally white color one, and some olive ones, and a little strand of purples, little variegated colors, so there's like a frosted, and those are really pretty. I like those too. Let's see, let's get you a little closer so you can see them. They're pretty. I'll show you the seed beads again, because that was kind of far away. And the tile beads, and the Piccino Miyuki, and the Super Duos, and the Crystal. And then there's some more, I think these are fire polish beads, but this looks like. Let's look and see what's in here. So this, these are really cool. I like these. That was a really good choice on her part for me. These are like a, a disc or a rondelle type of shape. I'll show you. They're all different colors. That's really cool. I like that. I could make something really neat out of that. It's really pretty. So, what is that? She made a list. Frosted pair of them. Let's see. I don't know. But I will look through that and find it. It's boring for you to watch me do that. And then here's just a mix of, these are three millimeter fire polish beads, mix of different colors. I recognize those because I used to buy those quite often for myself. I really like the little mix. I've made several designs with little mixes of fire polish beads like this. I like it. Of course, they're not on my channel because I made it before I had my channel, but um, I really like these little beads. They're fun to play with. And then, here's some more fire polish. This is a pretty color. This. That's really pretty. And this is, I think, a 4 millimeter. Yep, it's a 4 millimeter green iris fire polish round. And then these are, <clears throat> excuse me, four millimeter white opal fire polish and there's two strands of each of those colors 
which is nice. That's that's really pretty. I like finer polish beads, and that is what I specifically asked for. So what is cool about this is that you can ask for what you want. It's like having a personal shopper, like some of those online things for clothes that you send out for, and they send you some back so you have your personal stylist or whatever. That's kind of what this is. She has a... Um, her supplier is a really large bead supplier, so she can get basically any kind of bead you want. So if you personalize and write down what you want, she can make your box personalized for you, which is nice. I like that. And then, <clears throat> and this is a lot of beads, especially with the type of beads she sent me, because these are the more expensive beads. When you get into fire polish and... Um, Miyuki seed beads and tile beads, check tile beads, check super duos, things like that. They're, they're a little bit higher than just buying check seed beads or whatever. It's, um, they're a little bit higher type. And then here are some more dagger beads. These are, or not more dagger beads, these are check dagger beads. These are really cute. I like playing with dagger beads, especially this size. I ran out of this size. I used to have quite a few of them that I like to play with, but um, I ran out of them. So this is nice to have these back. I can make something with them. Uh, green isn't exactly my most favorite color. I didn't specify colors for her, so um, that's okay. I fully understand because I did not. I just said I like pastels, and she did send me a lot of pastels, and she did make it very pretty. Green happens to be one of my least favorite colors, however, that's okay because I still like it, I do, and I will still use all of the beads. And then, <clears throat> there's some more 6 millimeter fire polish beads. These are really pretty, I like these, this is nice. These I can always use. And they're just strands of variegated colors, like some blues. And um, someone has asked me to make an ombre piece, which is variegated colors that change. And with some of these, I may be able to pick out and do that for her, which she really has asked me a couple times. And I don't do because I don't have any um, radiation type beads so to make an ombre piece. But I will be able to. I think I'll be able to pick out some with what I have existing and with some of the stuff I got here today, I should be able to do that. And then here's some pinks and this are, these are really pretty. I like these. More green. This is, this is my color scheme right here. I love these kind of colors. Blues and, and um, whites and turquoise. I love that. That's really pretty. And this would the metallics those are really nice too I, that's a nice selection of beads that's really nice and there's another one so that's quite a bunch of beads and then she packed me some what she labeled as extras I love getting surprise beads they're always fun it's always fun to open a box like this and I would just order one every now and then, even though I personally have a ton of beads, I order them every now and then just to see what comes. I just really like it. It's just fun. It's like Christmas morning. So I got some little check drop beads. These are really pretty. And I like these. I play with these a lot, too. I love anything that's top drilled and a drop that you can dangle because I'm into fringing and dangling things. So these are really nice. They're pretty colors. I like that. That's really nice. And then she sent me a little thing of gemstones. And this is cherry quartz. So that's pretty, too. I like that, too. And this is a really nice little bead haul. I really like what she sent me. So I'm going to show you. It's pretty good. I mean, um, it's hard to get just this many Miyuki for what um, I spent and her trying to get a little bit of profit too. This is, this is pretty darn good. So I'm going to lay it all out so you guys can see it. And back off a little bit so you can see it. 
So here's the seed beads and the super duos. And then there's, of course, there's more seed beads here too, right there. And then there's the dagger beads here and all the little drop beads and all of the fire polish beads and some crystal. She did a really good job. She did exactly what I asked her to do. And like I said, it's kind of cool to have a personal bead shopper for you, especially if you're having difficulty finding stuff that you want in particular for a video that you've seen or for a pattern you have. It would be great to get a personalized box. And not all boxes have to be the big one. It could be a small box with just particular beads, seed beads, or something you're having difficulty finding and see if she can help you do that. And she sends a list of exactly everything that's in the box, which is really nice. And um, she sent me a nice little personalized letter on top that says, Thank you very much for your order. Hope you enjoy what I picked out for you to include in your box. And then she writes what was included in the box. So, and here's her card. And I will put a link in the information box underneath, or the description box underneath the video, so that you can all check it out and see if you want to try a non-reoccurring subscription box, which is pretty cool. I like that too, because every now and then you just want one box. You don't want to commit to something every month. And this way you can just get it when you want it and get what you want inside it. And it's still a surprise because someone else is picking it out. And I think that's really pretty cool. It's a really neat concept she has. And so I hope you've enjoyed this unveiling of the beads. And um, I will have that bracelet tutorial I promised you guys in my last video sometime this weekend for you. So have fun. Bye-bye.